Hello everyone, and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, we explore a solution for Windows laptop battery draining after shutdown. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to resolve the issue. In some cases, the battery level drops to 30% or less when users power on their laptops after shutting them down, and sometimes even to 0%. If you're facing this problem, follow along to fix it. And now, let's get started. Hibernate mode is designed for laptops and may not be available on all desktop PCs. It saves your open files and applications to the hard drive before powering off the laptop. While it uses less power than sleep mode, it can sometimes be the cause of battery drain issues. To fix this, you can disable hibernate mode on your laptop. First, type CMD in the search bar, right-click on command prompt, and select Run as Administrator. If prompted by user account control, click Yes. In the elevated command prompt window, type powercfg.xe slash hibernate off, then press enter. After closing the command prompt, you'll notice that the hibernate option will no longer appear in the shutdown options in the start menu. Method two is to turn off fast startup. Fast startup is a feature in Windows 11 tenths that helps your computer boot up faster after shutting down. However, it can sometimes cause issues. Disabling fast startup might resolve the problem. To do this, open the control panel through the Windows search bar, then set the view to large or small icons. Select power options and click on the choose what power buttons do option. Uncheck the box for the turn on fast startup recommended option and save the changes. Method three is to disable USB power off charging. Some laptops come with a power off charging feature which is enabled by default. This feature allows users to charge USB devices through the laptop's USB port, even when the laptop is turned off. While convenient, if your laptop supports this feature, it could be causing the battery to drain after shutdown. To disable this feature, check your system's BIOS, or UEFI. Visit your laptop manufacturer's support website to find out if your model supports power off charging and how to disable it. On certain laptops, such as Acer, you can turn it off through the quick access menu. The process of entering BIOS varies by system, so refer to the manufacturer's website or your user manual for instructions. Method four is to change the Intel management engine interface properties. Several users have reported that changing the properties of the Intel management engine interface driver resolve the issue. If your system uses an Intel processor, you can try this fix. Start by opening the device manager through Windows Search. Scroll down and expand the System Devices section. Locate the Intel Management Engine interface, then right-click on it and select Properties. Next, go to the Power Management tab and uncheck the Allow the computer to turn off this device to save power option. Finally, click OK to save the changes. Method 5 is to perform a battery health check. If the issue persists, it might be due to your laptop's battery. You, you can check its health using the built-in Windows tool. Power CFG, available in Windows 11 and 10. This tool generates a comprehensive battery health report to help determine if your battery is performing correctly. Here's how. Open the command prompt as an administrator. Run the following command, which I will leave in video description. This will create a detailed battery report saved as an HTML file in C. Drive open it and see the report. For those uncomfortable with command line tools, Third-party diagnostic software and battery testing programs are great alternatives. Additionally, many manufacturers, like HP and Asus, offer dedicated system health tools such as HP Support Assistant or MyAsus to monitor and maintain battery performance. I hope you found the video helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like, and share buttons. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.